Hi Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your July, your June 30th to July 6, 2024 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously. It gets this channel seen by the YouTube algorithm, which gets it out to more people. So thank you so very much for doing so. You guys are absolutely amazing. And if you're interested in purchasing a private reading, check out my website, daneheartcaro.com. It's linked in the description box below. And as always, the cards will tell you what you need to know, not what you want to know. Let's begin. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides, angels. All right. So we are crowned here with the world reversed. And I laugh because like, I just actually see her like swiping her brow. I know that's not what she's doing right there, but I just, it's like, phew, it's not about the whole entire world. It's just about me. <laughs> like, I really like that for us, Gemini. It's like, it's not about everybody else and everything else and having to go here and having to go there. It's just about me. And that is going to be so important. It's like, it's about my story. It's about my world. It's about connecting with the universe within me. And that is the most important thing for me during this time and, and for my whole entire life. It sounds selfish. And sometimes Geminis are considered quite selfish, but it's like, I know what I want. And it's not selfish in, in a bad way. It's like, no, I have to take care of me. It's like, put the mask on yourself first before you take care of the people next to you. And that is going to be so important. And that's so important for us during this time. It moves us then to the, <laughs> to the emperor very strong Aries energy coming through. If you have Aries in your life, if you have Aries in your chart, that comes through very powerfully and very positively during this time. It's also a very strong connection with sacred masculine energy, father energy, you know, just also just really assertive, you know, strong energy coming forward. And that can also be us, Gemini, as much as we're like, you know, as much as we might look at things at times and be like, eh, you know what, second is really quite good because like responsibility of the first is, is just a bit much, you know, type of thing. And people can can laugh at that and we can laugh at that. There is such a power to a Gemini, such a power to a Gemini who listens, who picks up stories, who connects with the world around them. There's such a power to you. And that's what you're going to be embracing during this time. It's like who like let them laugh as as I win. OK, and that's just very much it's like everybody's underestimating you. And you're not underestimating yourself. Now, you might be a little bit intense during this time. Just be mindful about this with the Knight of, of Swords reverse is that we're like, okay, I'm going for it now. It's like we've made the decision. And instead of stepping back and waiting, we are going to go for it right now, push forward, go after, nothing's going to stop me. I've got this type of energy coming forward. So just be mindful about this during this time because, you know, we have to think things through. And when the nights are reversed, it's very much like reckless teenage energy, right? I'm just going to do it and I'm invincible. So there are no consequences type of deal. So being aware of that, it moves us then to the page of wands, fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. So again, playing on that Aries energy that has come forward, very positive, very good for us, but we can also be having a bit of of a struggle with with fire sign energy with tempers flaring with intensity of things so being aware of this is also going to be important for us during this time we also need to connect with our inner child with a sense of what am i passionate about what do i want to move forward like how do i want that passion to move forward within me what are my bigger goals what am i going after and it brings us then to the ten of cups and the ten of cups is they all live happily ever after and here with it reverse, we're, we're looking at everybody and we're thinking, oh, well, they have it figured out, right? They have it. They know what they're talking about. And, and it's like, everybody's, I was like, what is this? It's, it's three people waving up. I was like, what is this right here? Um, there, there was just a sense of everybody else has it figured out and I'm floundering back here, but note that people look at you and say, wow, I wish I had what you had. So here with the 10 of cups, that is going to be just so important for you. Just so important to kind of like, it's like stay in your lane. Stay in your lane and work on what you're improving, on what you're going after. And as you do that, you're going to build yourself and move yourself forward in ways that you just couldn't imagine. And the transformation is going to be big. 
We then have the Nine of Cups, which is a cross your finger wish being granted. So that is absolutely beautiful. This week doesn't necessarily bring the and they all live happily ever after ending to the story that we might want, but we just have to be be reminded that we are getting a lot of what we wish for and a lot of beautiful things are coming forward. Everything's going to be moving really, really quickly. We can get caught up in that, especially as air sign energy. We like it when things move fast. There's an intensity, there's a quickness to things. There's like a, and this and this and this. We can really, really, really feed off of that. But then it makes a tornado. Then it just makes absolute chaos. So being aware of this is going to be important during this time with the eight of, of wands. There's a sense of a lot of things moving quickly, but we need to step back. We need to take it in. We need to not get caught up in like the, you know, kind of buy it now type of energy and just step back, see it, digest it and understand it. Okay. So let's see what spirit has to say. And if you're interested in entering to receive a free reading, please put a sun emoji in the comment box below. A person will be chosen at random and announced at random. So hit the bell notification so you can be notified when that announcement comes up. Angels and spirit guides, show them clearly. Okay, so this is the Osprey reverse. Oh, okay. Your success is now at hand. Allow abundance to flow to you effortlessly. And this is reverse because it's like, no, 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 no. We're not ready for it, right? It's not I'm not ready for it or I'm not worthy of it or whatever excuse you can think of to say the success isn't coming to me. The spirit is saying, stop it. The spirit is saying, stop that right now. Also thinking during this time, it's like, if I don't get a huge win in this week, like that's it, I'm done. I'm never going to get to the place I want to be. That's not it either. You might have to pivot. You might have to look at things differently. You might have to like reclaim you because sometimes we're going through the motions and inwardly, we're telling the universe, please, please, I can't, I can't handle anymore, right? I can't handle anymore on my plate. And we need to really look at the energy within us, the energy that is subconsciously feeding us and, and what we're going after during this time. So even though with the 10 of cups reverse, we don't feel that success. We don't feel that happiness. We don't feel that abundance the way that we want to. Okay. It is here. We have, we have nine of cups. We have happiness coming in. We have the emperor energy coming in. It's like, I am power. And I am abundance. And we're not looking at the rest of the world. We're looking at our own little world right now. And we can be saying, it's a mess. It's a mess. Like, how is this going to straighten itself out? It will quickly. It will because we're taking the reins of it. And we're saying, okay, where do I want to be? How do I want to be? And how am I moving me forward? It brings us then to our chakra energy. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. And this is dreams and holistic health. So these are two of my favorite cards. It is the third eye chakra and the root chakra. It is listen to your dreams. Also get plenty of sleep and take care of your body. Holistic health is like, okay, it's time to start eating of the earth again, right? Eat what grows from the earth and what, you know, eats what grows from the earth that isn't processed, right? At the outside of the grocery store type of, of mentality. And it's, it's listening to our dreams. Spirit is going to contact you through your dreams, and that is going to be very important. It can take us a little bit even to realize that spirit is contacting us through our dreams. So being aware of that is also going to be an important thing. It moves us then to our energy to be mindful of. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. So we have two. We have the chariot. So this is cancer energy. If we're born on the cusp of cancer, if we have cancer energy in our chart, just be aware of it. And also it can be like cancer time period starts, started June 21st, right? Goes to July 22nd. It, it can be that, you know, this time can be a very emotional time for us for one reason or another. So just not to be as reactionary as maybe we want to be is going to be a very important thing. And with the Six of Swords reverse, again, we want speed. We want things to change quickly and we want speed. So being aware of that is going to be important as well. Okay. The world is reversed. It's not about everything else. It's not about every everyone else. The world is reversed and it's time to look inward and to say, okay, what do I want for me? Where am I headed? What do I want to achieve? what's important to me and really making those clarifying, you know, declarations to ourselves. 
is going to be important. We do have a tendency, and this is why Spirit is saying, hey, it's not about the rest of the world, to judge ourselves very harshly and to assume that we know what other people are thinking or what other people are thinking about us. We might be kind of right, like energetically speaking on things, but you know what? There's that old saying, what other people think of you is none of your business. It's really stepping into our energy, stepping into ourselves and moving forward in that power and in that understanding. That's going to be a really big thing and not being jealous. That's going to be a hard thing for us and seeing our blessings and seeing our success and saying, what makes me happy? Not what is supposed to make me happy. Like what does everybody else have that I'm supposed to be having? You know, it's like, no, what makes me happy? And it's embracing our assertion of self our sacred masculine energy, our determination, our focus, our insight. And, and then it's also not running them up. This is going to be a time where we can get into the cyclone energy of it all. Like it just needs to be moving. It just needs to be going. I just need to, I just need to be pushing the boundaries and pushing this forward and doing this and doing that. Slowing it down is going to be one of the best things and really embracing the clarity of our mind, not like I'll show you type of energy is also going to be super important for us. So realizing that is going to be a great thing. Also, we can have a tendency to exude a lot of energy, but really not be focusing it the right way. So by that spirit means like we can be slaying our dragons, right? That's what the Knight of Swords is all about. It's about slaying our dragons. It's about being the hero of our story. And we can think we're slaying our dragons, but what we're really doing is just diverting our energy. And instead of really looking at and paying attention to what we need to pay attention to and what we need to look at, we're, we're kind of all over the place. So being aware of this is going to be a very important thing. With the page of wands reverse, it is connecting once again with our inner child, with our fire, our passion, our determination, our focus, what we want, where it is that we want to be. And it's not letting ourselves fall into, you know, the, the page of wands can really be like that. That tantrum, tanny, tantrum, tantrum, temper tantrum, there we go, I can speak, temper tantrum energy of the little kid, you know, in the store, just having an absolute fit, you know, wanting to throw yourself down on the ground, you know, kick your feet, you know, fit, like pound your hands, just be absolutely just a wreck and have everybody pay attention to you. And it's like, yes, now that I have my attention, you know, change what it is I need to, I need changed. And so here we can do that to ourselves and it could be like, oh my gosh, no, this is just embarrassing. After we get so upset, it's like, oh, okay, you know, I need to release this type of deal. So just be aware that we are going to react to things very strongly and we can react to them too strongly. We can kind of take it too far. <laughs> so just being aware of that or a time where we took things too far can be coming up, can like, you know, yeah, can, can be rearing its ugly head and we're like, oh man, you know, that was a mistake. So being aware of this, also being aware if you have fire sign energy kids or grandkids or, you know, people that you babysit for, they might be a real handful <laughs> during this time. So just be aware of that. You might be like, what is wrong with you? You know, so just be aware. Also note that we do have a tendency to be jealous during this week. It's, it's just a week where we'll look at people and be like, well, you just have it all, don't you? If we can stop that, that would be great. Or if we can acknowledge, you know what, that's how I feel, but it's probably not true. That would also be really great for us. And then just really start to go after things that make us happy, not things that we think should make us happy. That That is also going to be important because it's like we lost sight and it's like, well, this is what everybody else is doing. And then we lost sight of us. It's kind of like when you're taking everybody else's advice and you're like, oh, okay, so this is how I should be doing it. And then it's like, well, I just lost the plot completely. So be aware of that. You're going to get a wish granted. It's going to be one of those cross the fingers wish. It might not be a big wish. It doesn't have to be, but it's going to be something that lets you know, oh, wow, spirit really is listening. Like I really do matter type of deal. And then with the eight of wands, everything's going to be moving really quickly towards the end of the week, right? As we get towards the six, we're going to see things picking up. We're going to see things moving. We're going to see, you know, boundaries being broken or like, you know, just kind of like things starting to pick up. And it's like, oh, Oh, wow. And it, I actually see it as being really exciting for us. We do need to kind of slow down and not be like, okay, now I need to act, act instantaneously and being very reactionary towards it. So just be aware of that. Our subconscious spirit message here is Starling. I love Starlings. And this says, now is the time to get, get out into the world and connect with uh, in authentic ways. And that that's true. It's like, now is a time you know, as, as much as the world, it isn't about, you know, going here and going there. It's time to be part of the world. And sometimes 
we have a season in our life or we go through times in our life where it's like, no, I just need to pull in and I need to heal and I, I need to disconnect from the world. And now spirit's like, okay, now it's time to step back into it. It brings us then to our chakra energy, which is our third eye chakra and it's visualization. And here with visualization, it is a superpower to be able to visualize, you know, especially if we're born on the cusp of Taurus or we have Taurus energy in our chart that really helps with visualization or, you know, Sagittarius energy also because Jupiter enhances. So whatever we focus on gets enhanced. That's going to be really, really powerful for us during this time if we visualize. But what we can be visualizing, okay, is like we can be doom prepping <laughs> type of thing. We can be visualizing and all the ways that things can go wrong. And then we'll be like, why is the energy around me just so stuck? Or why is everything just so hard? And it's because, you know, there, there's chaos around us or fear around us. Visualize what it is that you love. Visualize what it is that you want, how it is that you want to build it. And don't think that, oh, it has to be just this way. Be, be fluid with with the way that you're going to allow your gifts to come into your life and allow your blessings to come forward because it's going to be rather exciting that way but work on visualization because there is a blockage in the third eye chakra tapping over the third eye can be highly beneficial for that even though here with our dreams there isn't a blockage with the third eye chakra but with visualization and really focusing on what we want and seeing ourselves building it we can just be scared and be like, well, I can't do that. Or, you know, I'm no good at this. Or, you know, who the heck do I think I am? So just be aware of that here, Gemini. It moves us to our energy to be mindful of. And it can be, you know, the lady, it's funny because we have the emperor, right? And here we have the the empress. And it can be that there's a true love connection, a, a, a soulmate connection. We could be in a relationship or, you know, looking for a relationship. And it's just like, we're just not getting on right now. And we can think, oh, well, that's never going to work or, oh, this is absolutely over and it's not. So just, just be aware of this or, yeah, I see it as it's not. So just be aware of this. And here with the lady, there, there is that sense of what do I want to create within my life? What am I building forward? Like, what am I creating? What am I cultivating? How am I moving this forward? And also, you know, am I taking care of myself? I'm taking care of everybody else. Am I taking care of myself? And also, you know, when it's when it's to be mindful of, it's also being mindful that we can get resentful. You know, I'm doing all of this and we can be a little bit of a martyr about it. Like, you know, oh, I'm doing all of this. Nobody's helping me, but we don't ask for help. So or, or we see it as a sign of defeat. So just be aware of that. Our subconscious spirit message here is the nine of pentacles. It's being in the present and it's really you know, embracing your bounty, embracing your prosperity, embracing your abundance, and it, it's taking in the wealth. And that is going to be just a really great thing for you. It's like, oh, okay, I'm standing right here right now. And I am, am building, you know, my kingdom, I'm building what is, you know, powerful and beautiful and successful for me. All right. All right, Gemini, I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. And please note that this meditation and healing will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony. Gemini, may blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless. Bye.